They say that if our ancestors went through the Stone Age or the Iron One, ours would be the Plastic Age. Every year, 350 million metric tons are produced all over the world. The problem is that they need decades, even centuries, to decompose. And what's worse, they break down into particles known as microplastics that enter the food chain, that is, the organisms of animals and humans. Besides recycling, there are biodegradable and sustainable alternatives. The plant kingdom and even the animal kingdom provide the raw materials for the next revolution, bioplastics. Polylactic acid obtained from the byproducts of corn crops can be processed to manufacture bottles and containers used in the food industry. The wheat and barley waste from the beer brewing industry has also been recycled into biodegradable six-pack rings. Starch found in potatoes or tuberous plants such as cassava is another ally. This biomolecule allows us to produce shopping bags. One of its drawbacks, however, is that it drains food resources. Fungi are a fascinating organism, as well as a potential alternative to plastic. Specifically, the mycelium, the thread-like structures they use as roots. A mixture of rice, corn or cotton waste poured into a mold and with the mycelium as a binder can be a substitute for polystyrene. The oceans are another source of alternative raw materials, for instance seaweed. It is possible to dehydrate it, extract its starch and through natural binders create a 3D printable compatible material to manufacture containers. Chitin is a compound found in the exoskeletons of crustaceans and insects. It is the second most abundant biopolymer in the world and it soon could become a staple in the production of bags and containers for the food industry. Casein, in turn, is a protein present in dairy that also has applications in the manufacturing of bioplastics. By adding pectin, found in fruit peel, it is feasible to create a durable, biodegradable and even edible film. It is still early to tell which of these materials will become prevalent, but science is undoubtedly working hard to carry us to the bioplastic age.